Today's video is about 5 dental apps that every dental student must have with them. Please keep in mind that this is a non-sponsored video. I discovered these apps on my own and I've used them over my third and fourth year of dentistry. If some, yeah, that's how that's when I discovered them. And I thought why not make this video because I know it's gonna be super helpful for you guys as well. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. The first app we have for today is called as Dental Drugs. As the name suggests, these are the various drugs important for dentistry given under various subheadings. As you click on each subheading, it further div uh, it gets divided into various classes depending on the class of drugs. For example, prophylactic doses, here you have the different type of drugs along with their adult and child doses. Another example that we have here is cephalaxin. So under this, you can see that this it gives the contraindications, indications, the form of the drug, dose of the drug, precautions that has to be taken before eating this tablet. And also it gives you an idea about the drug interactions, the side effects and so much information. So it's a great app to have handy. Another cool feature that I like about this app is their local anesthetic aspect so here the different type of anesthesias are given and a cool feature about this is that you can enter the patient's weight and it calculates the amount of la that has to be administered to a person based on their body weight so this is really handy to have especially during your surgery postings because your professors love to ask questions around this Another great um, feature that this app has is their emergencies category. So here all the emergency conditions are given and it also gives you a basic idea of what the emergency condition is, the signs, symptoms and the drugs used. Uh, so this is also superb to have handy. The second app for today is known as Disease and Disorders. Make sure that this is the version that you all download. This app basically has all the medical conditions, uh, the disease and disorders. Uh, obviously, a BDS student does not need to know so many disease. So whatever you need, you can definitely search for it. So when you open up each disease or disorder, it opens up to a big descriptive part where uh, all the definitions, symptoms, causes, treatment plan, everything is explained. So this is great to have during your medicine and surgery postings because it acts as a quick revision. Don't study, don't do your main study from this app, just keep it as a quick revision. Um, source because uh, that's what it's great for it also has this feature where it allows you to uh, take notes so if there's any extra point that you want to add you can just type it here and leave it and then you can access it from that particular topic notability is a note-taking app that i use on my ipad and i absolutely love it it not only helps me um, you know make notes but it also helps me stay very productive and organized here you're going to see more of first year and second year subjects because the i use this and made notes especially during my um, initial phase of neat prep so that explains it uh, here this is an example of the notes that i made for a biochemistry chapter and you can see how beautiful these notes look I just absolutely love using this app and I love using my iPad for making notes. Uh, I know a lot of you people have been requesting a video on how I make notes. So that is definitely going to come up very soon. So please do stay tuned for that. Uh, apart from just writing notes, you can also import your textbooks and make it, you know, very easily accessible. So when you open a particular textbook on the iPad, um, this is how it looks like. So you can zoom in, zoom out, you can draw on this, you can highlight points, you can even like copy a paragraph and have it pasted to your notes. There is just so much that you can do with this app and with the iPad and I absolutely love it. I also use this app for my daily planning. Uh, so this is a daily planner and I also do my exam planning on this. A lot of you people have been requesting me for this particular um, planner. I'm sorry my website is down. Please leave your email IDs in the comment section below and I'll have it mailed over to you. The next app we have is called Bone Box Light, and I absolutely love this app and I would highly recommend it to all the first years especially. So the basic idea of this app is that it gives you a three-dimensional view of the jaw and all the tooth individually. So whichever tooth you're interested in, just click on it and it opens up into a magnified image. You can move it around with your fingers, you can zoom in, zoom out and like turn it to whichever like mesial or distal aspect and have a clear cut idea of how the morphology of that tooth looks like. 
uh, I would suggest uh, to have this handy during your carving sessions because this gives you a very very good idea about where the marginal ridges have to be, where the fossas have to be, where the uh, grooves have to be present. So even today when I'm doing my teeth carving preclinical session as a part of my MDS course, this is the app that I refer to because it's super useful and uh, yeah as you i mean as you carve and you refer to it you'll understand what i mean another feature that i really like about this app is the quiz part which you can see on the top right corner so when you click on that it gives you an image of the tooth and you have to identify what tooth that is so this is a great exercise for first years especially who are trying to understand the morphology of each tooth The last app we have for today is called as Dentin X-Ray and this is available only for phone uh, and not for tablets. So basically when you open up this app, the screen gets illuminated. So when you place your IOPRs on it, it gives you um, an enhanced look and you can identify the features very clearly. So this is super useful during your OMR postings. So you don't have to hold the IOPR against the light and struggle with interpretation. Rather just use your phone and the screen and you're sorted. That's all I have for you for today and I really hope that you guys found it useful. Please download the app, start using them and if you found them useful then please, please, please come back and leave a comment in the comment section below because I love to read all your comments, your messages. Sometimes I'm not able to re reply because of my tight schedule but please don't mind I read all your comments and I mean it. Until next time, this is Ivyat signing off. Thank you so much for watching.